Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the next biggest update for Call of Duty World War 2 that is going to be coming out on Wednesday and coming out tomorrow. But before we get into the video, I'd just like to say if you do enjoy this video and want to see more stuff like this, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to that so that you don't miss a future upload. But with that out of the way, let's get straight on in to the video. So on Wednesday the 10th, we are going to be getting the DLC 2 for Call of Duty World War 2, but coming along with that is going to be coming with a massive, massive update, which is going to be changing the entirety of the division system you know and love today. So the first things that we are going to be talking about is in fact the suppressor, the fire shells, the bayonet, the pist the tactical knife for the pistol, the LMG bipod and the sharpshooter or holding your breath for a sniper are all going to be standard for each of their weapons. So the suppressor is going to be for the SMG, that's part of the attachment. The fire shells are also part of the attachments for the shotguns and so on and so on. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the basic training called Prime. Primed is no longer going to be inside of the game because they thought that it was being used too much and wasn't letting for other basic trainings to be used that much. So it's going to be gone and the extra attachment that Prime gave is now going to be default for every single class. The next basic training that is going to be leaving is Bang. But in its place, they have the launcher mod, they upgraded that to be a little more to our liking, and they also made launchers as a global secondary weapon. So now they modified the launchers, so now it's going to be a little more hit markers when you try and kill someone, but the blast radius is going to be bigger. Coming with that is also the lethal and the tactical equipment that is also going to be standard for each class so you can equip both of those. The next thing that they added was that because they thought that the pacing of the game was a little too slow for their liking and for other people's likings, the sprinting was timed and you would eventually run out of breath, they have now added an infinite sprint so they're going to be modifying the different basic trainings and the divisions system to correspond with the infinite sprint. So now we're going to be taking a look at the division perks. They have changed every single division with adding some new items, some new perks, or keeping some old ones. We're going to go from top to bottom, so we're going to start with infantry. What the old infantry has is the rifle bayonet, additional primary attachment, extra magazines, and move significantly faster while aiming down sight. Forget that, let's go to the new infantry. Additional primary attachment, secondary pistol, and swap faster for tier 2. Tier 3, while aiming down sight, you have less idle sway, and tier 4, you move faster while aiming down sight. So it's basically the same stuff, they just added a new one, they added two new ones, and removed two old ones. So now we're going to take a look at Airborne, we're going to take a look at the old one. The different perks is, for the first tier, you have a, an SMG suppressor, the second tier, you can sprint for longer distance, for the third tier, you can climb over obstacles faster, and the fourth tier is increased sprint Speed. Now we go ahead and take a look at the new system. The first tier is fire guns while sprinting and diving. The second tier is reloading. You can reload while sprinting. The third tier is you can climb over obstacles faster and no damage from falling. And the fourth tier is sprint faster over time. So it's not just increased sprint speed, it's increased sprint speed over time. So now we're going to take a look at the armored. The first tier for the armor division is LMG Bipod, the second tier is immune to shell shock and tactical equipment, the third tier is take less fire damage, and the fourth tier is take significantly less explosive damage. Now once again, forget all of that, and now let's get on to the new system. The new system is the first tier take significantly less explosive and fire damage, the second tier is immune to shell shock and tactical equipment the third tier is increased bullet penetration through the surface and the fourth tier greatly reduces flinch when shot so now we're going to take a look at the mountain division the old one is you gain a sniper shooter which is holding your breath the second tier is always invisible to enemy recon aircraft 
The third tier is hidden to player controlled streaks and the fourth tier is you move silently or silent movement. Now we go over to the new system. The first tier is invisible to enemy recon aircraft and controlled streaks. The second tier is killed enemy death locations are hidden. The third tier is no name or reticle change when an enemies aim at you. And the fourth tier is again silent movement. The next division is the expeditionary division. The first tier is shotgun and incendiary shells for the old one. The second tier is select a piece of tactical and lethal equipment. So obviously we know that's going to be default for everything. The third tier is throw equipment faster and farther while sprinting. And the fourth tier is resupply equipment from killed enemies. Now, lethal and tactical and enhanced equipment use. The second tier is munition replenished from killed enemies and over time. The third tier is improved tacticals and easier to destroy war buildables. Equipment damage paints enemies on the minimap. And last but not least, we have the resistance division. Let's go ahead and take a look at the old system. The first tier is you get a tactical knife for your pistol. The second tier you get to scramble nearby enemy mini maps. The third tier you get an additional pistol attachment and swap west weapons faster. And the fourth tier mini map indicator in the direction of close hostiles basically six cents. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the new ones. The first tier is the minimap indicator and scrambler on close hostiles. The second tier is enemy movements are easier to hear. The third tier is kills and assists grant intel ping on nearby enemies. And fourth tier is easier to spot targets and increased minimap coverage. So in the long run with how all of these divisions are looking. I'd say this looks like it's a pretty, pretty good change. It looks like they've taken a lot to account for for all the playing the past couple of months and how everybody's been using each system, division, weapons, and so on. So now let's get on to the one that I'm pretty sure everybody has been waiting for, and that is tomorrow. We are going to be getting a mini update and that mini update is we are going to be getting paint jobs. Finally, it's been so long since they said paint jobs are coming soon and they've delayed it and it's it's been so long. So now it's going to be coming tomorrow and honestly, we don't know how the paint job system is going to work. We don't want it to be like the Black Ops 3 system. We want the everybody wants the paint job to be able to cover the entire weapon but so far it looks like it's only going to be able to cover the parts like in the like the camos would so far with the pictures it looks like it's going to be kind of mixed in with the black ops 3 system and some of i guess a new extra area for each weapon but that is all i have got for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to that so that you don't in fact miss any future upload which is basically stuff like this intel for mainly zombies so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see all of you in the next video Bye bye